So in Belgium, there was a group that it used to present a lot of data about doing fat transfers or lipofilling as it is referred to in Europe in a staged approach after placement of a tissue expander. So a tissue expander for everybody listening is a temporary device that you can fill through a port and that expands the skin and the tissues there. So it stretches it out. And then you can put fat in between the skin and the capsule that forms around that device. So that was a method that they had been talking about since the first time I went to Barcelona in 2000 and ooh, maybe five. And so we would use that technique, not to the degree that they did because they had more flexibility to say, okay, Petra wants to just have a fat transfer and that's the only method she chooses. So we're gonna, place the tissue expander and then slowly withdraw the fluid over time and replace that volume, if you will, with another fat transfer. So they would do it every, whatever, six months or something in the office and they were in Belgium. So they had different rules and standards for an office-based fat transfer, which we could never do in the United States. Mm -hmm. We would have to do it all under local or you'd have to have uh, credentialing for your office. But nonetheless, and they don't have to deal with insurance. So it, all the things that make it easier. But so that's one method. I have had patients also choose to do the DIEP free flap breast reconstruction. That's what I used to do predominantly, which is taking the tissue, the skin and fat of the abdomen that's normally discarded in a tummy tuck, preserving the blood vessels and the nerves to it, and then transferring that. And you can make them sensory, so you'll have more sensation. Many groups do that in Europe, both in uh, Germany and Belgium, and I don't know all the groups around, uh, but it's practiced uh, routinely. 